my name is Barry Abdu, the founder of Techris Ghana Limited, and then the founder of Saint Bees Prime Tech. With Saint Bees Prime Tech, what we actually do is we sell mobile phones and accessories. The reason why I actually sell mobile phones and accessories is because when I was in SS, um, I find it difficult to pay my school fees. And whenever I get more money to go and pay my school fees, I used to go and buy phones, go and sell on campus, get some money to pay the school fees. And the other business I operate is Techris Ghana Limited, where we are into software development and graphic design, CCTV installations, and networking. The St. Beast Prime Tech at the moment have about four employees, myself, a lady, a brother, and then an uncle. The, what we do at the shop is we sell mobile phones, we do repairs, and then a whole lot of business. The reason why we are actually doing such a business is because we want um, quick cash. And it's from there we're able to finance Techris Ghana Limited. And at the moment, we don't have office space for Techris Ghana Limited. We actually operate from house. I do the software development, the mobile app development, everything at the house. And now market the products myself. The source of funding actually comes from the St. Beast Prime Tech Limited. I am the person of Kala Usman, the CEO or the founder of K Kala School Textiles in Upper West Region. Wow. I started this business in 2015 up to date. It formally started from t shirt production, cloth production, tie dye and batik production as well. In 2016, I do my analysis and I realized that um, there is a challenge in Upper West Region about the, un the youth unemployment. And uh, there that I did my research and I realized that the Northern Kinti production is a way forward. Then I started that one too in 2016, which is part of my other projects, as I mentioned earlier. Then I keep picking people, I started picking people rather, especially females. Currently, as I'm speaking, I have about uh, 22 of them at my workplace. And we do produce this local kente and the tie dye and batik as well. Before I pick them, I realized that the females they want a job, but how to get money to pay it before starting the work is very difficult. Then I have decided to pick them free. And I'll give them machines to be working with, or any of them that weave a cloth. I mark the fellow 20 CDs. I use the 20 CDs that I mark them to motivate them. First, I was not doing that, and I realized that some they will come today, tomorrow they will not come. But when I started giving them the motivation, as early as six, I see them started reporting, and they will close late. And people keep on coming. A uh, printing press too, that is the t-shirt production, the cloth production. The boys that I have there, they are also about five, plus the 22, giving us 27. But I have a lot of challenges on this business. Actually, my workplace is very small. Getting enough place for them to sit is very difficult. And my machines too are inadequate for them. Because their number is higher than the machines they are using. I will be very glad if I get any individual or any NGO that will come into our aid. I don't need cash from anybody. Help me with the machines or a vast land for me to so that they can sit there then continue with their work. If you have more females that are loitering about, saying they have no job, bring them. We are producing. It's quite unique and it doesn't fit.
it doesn't smell. So if any NGO or any individual that can run to help us after these people completing the job in three years, I don't want to allow them to go free because we have people who have their skills, but they have no workplace and they don't have their machines. After training them, I will make sure I give them machines one after the other.